Ooh, my favorite part of being out on the reef is definitely just seeing the diversity. I mean, anywhere you look, it's just bustling with life. Seeing the amazing diversity. Seeing all the whales. We saw multiple humpback whales. They were jumping in, in and out of the water. We saw, I don't even know how many humpbacks. That was pretty amazing to see that many whales in such a short amount of time. Just amazing beauty out on the water. Uh, it's been nothing that I've ever seen before. Uh, it was definitely a huge amount of biodiversity life there. Um, I've never even left the United States, so I haven't seen that kind of sea life before, and it just astounded me. It was the most beautiful thing I've seen in a very long time. I also got to see a white tip reef shark and a black tip reef shark, which was definitely a highlight. I just could notice so many different active parts of the environment working together, where I feel like if you looked even at just a small area, the closer you looked, like the more you saw. And then I'd say an unexpected favorite were the giant clams. <laughs> I just uh, have learned so much about how interconnected land and sea are and how much you know I do on land impacts those uh, areas out there at sea, especially the Great Barrier Reef and other reefs around the world. I just feel like it's reconnected me to nature and made me feel inspired to go home and continue saving wildlife. There's a lot of media out there about what type of shape the reef is in and it was really inspiring to me to actually see what that shape is and it's something I'm going to take back to my students back in the States to share that with them. I'm here part of Project Dragonfly, which is a uh, master's program at Miami University, and we are here to learn from our partners at the Reef Authority so we can learn more about conservation and different things that they're doing here that we can bring back to the states. I was just really uh, inspired by how the Reef Authority manages their protected areas, and hopefully I can take some of those strategies and techniques uh, back to California and see how I can inform our management there. So I'm here with about 20 students from the United States, and we're to learn, here to learn about indigenous cultures, about the Great Barrier Reef, about the Paluma Mountain Range, and all the connections that are intertwined together in these unique ecosystems. And I guarantee you that the people that are participating in this course when they go home, they'll be thinking about climate change, and they're going to be thinking about coral reefs, and they're going to be thinking about how to, how to reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and to become kind of crusaders for our planet. Seeing how excited my students are going to be when I come back and tell them all the stories and share all the pictures and share all the connections that I've made here. So it's not just my trip, but I get to experience that and share that with 150 students plus moving forward for the rest of my teaching career. One of the fantastic things about this trip is that I've been able to learn about another UNESCO World Heritage Site that I get to bring back to the States to the UNESCO World Heritage Site that I work at um, to bring those experiences to life, to understand the successes and really see it as a gift that we can bring to our next generation.